The Canucks are heading into tonight's game three points behind the Calgary Flames. Now, you got to start questioning the heart of this team. Oh, no question there, Fred. This is a team with no direction. They're inconsistent, they're sloppy, and most of all, the big names aren't producing big numbers, in particular, Todd Bertuzzi. I agree. With only four goals in his past 12 games, he's simply not getting the job done. Well, let's see which team decides to show up here tonight. We're underway here at GM Place. Morrison wins the faceoff over to Nasland. Nasland passes to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi makes a long pass. It's picked off. Oh, what a bonehead pass. Here's Jerome again to go in the other way. The shot on net and oh, makes the glove save. See, that's exactly what we were talking about. Bertuzzi screws up, and Aginla, a perennial all-star, gets a shot on net. What a tool! He's got to go. Face off at our end. Aslan over to Cook. Cook with the long lead pass to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi dekes the defender. He takes the shot on Kiprasov, and he scores! Oh, my God! Paul Bertuzzi is the greatest human being ever to lace up a pair of skates. Oh, no questions there, Fred. I think it's safe to say that Todd Bertuzzi is the cornerstone of this Canucks franchise. And the thing, this is a guy who the media has bashed day in and day out. But he comes to work and gets the job done. Is there a better player in the NHL today? I'd like to meet him. As play resumes, Calgary gains control of the puck. Again, let takes it up, it gets past Bertuzzi, over to Lankow, and he scores! Oh, this is a perfect example of why Todd Bertuzzi has to go. His defense, lackluster at best. He's been underperforming all season long. What's this? This just in. Todd Bertuzzi has been traded and will no longer be a Canuck after tonight's game. I applaud that decision. Todd Bertuzzi is to hockey what Kevin Federline is to rap music. Or parenting or personal hygiene. Welcome back, listeners, to Kaihu 7 Sports Radio. Nux Flames 1-1. Naslin shuffles the puck over to her crappy. Mr. A no longer a Canuck takes the puck up, makes a nice spin move. Oh, my God, takes it. Now he scores! Oh! Oh! Oh, no. Oh, we're losing. It's just in. The Canucks have traded for Todd Bertuzzi. Wow. Uh, that's an excellent move by the GM. Paul Bertuzzi is one of the best players in the NHL. I look forward to seeing what this guy can bring to the team. As play resumes, it's whistled dead right after it started. All right, looks like uh, Todd Bertuzzi is going to be going to the sin bin, the sin bin, the sin bin for holding. What a bum, a goon and a bum. Indeed, I mean, on this play, he's clearly seen holding the other player's jersey. I mean, if this kind of conduct isn't stopped, people are going to get injured. This is no way to make a first impression with a team you were just traded to. And time ticks away on Bertuzzi's penalty. I mean, it's unbelievable. First there's the Steve Moore incident, then there's this penalty. What that man did to Steve Moore is a travesty. He may never play the game again. Yeah. And Tom Bertuzzi steps back onto the ice as his penalty expires. He takes a long pass from Sallow. Oh, he's going up. He's got a breakaway. He takes it. He scores! Steve Moore! Yeah! I hope Steve Moore returns to the NHL so Todd Bertuzzi can break his neck again! Yeah! Fuck Steve Moore! Fuck Steve Moore! Fuck Steve Moore! Woo! Steve Moore! Yeah! Oh! Fuck I! Fuck Steve Moore! Paul Bertuzzi's on an absolute terror these days. He's got seven goals in his past 12 games. Yeah, that's what I call a hockey player. 